So I'm going to discuss, so my name is Eviara Tapos. I had this morning the first presentation in the other room. Uh, and so I'm an associate professor at NSA Paritech in the cognitive robotics staff. Um, and I'm going to speak about uh, how we do uh, human robot interaction uh, with now robot, but I will also present other kind of uh, projects and teaching projects that we have uh, at NSA. So, uh, first of all, I'm going to start with the description of the school. So, the school uh, is an engineer school and it's a part of Paritech. Um, so, maybe most of you, those who are French, know that. Paritech is a consortium of research and teaching and it's composed of two schools. And in 2015, maybe, uh, will be the biggest engineering campus in Europe. Hopefully. Okay, so uh, this is a pedagogical strategies uh, that we adopted at NSTA. So we tried to form uh, multidisciplinary engineers. So uh, they will focus on design, implementation, and management of uh, complex industrial systems uh, under economic constraints and uh, different international environments. So uh, I can say that it's more like a synergy between teaching, uh, research, and industry. So this is really very important because it's a very generic kind of um, uh, pedagogical strategy. So uh, these are the main specialization at ENSA. So we have a track which is transportation engineering, another track which is energy and environmental sciences, and uh, the third track is about systems engineering and engineering mathematics. And in this last track, we have robotics and embedded system. So this is a track that with the class, all the classes that I'm going to show you are uh, about robots will be uh, presenting. So this is just, just to show you when I said earlier that it's a synergy and it's a multi-disciplinary uh, engineer that are going out from the school. So this is, it's in French, but uh, this is the different um, jobs that, uh, different fields that the students uh, get a job in when they finish the five year, or the three year, sorry, uh, of engineering. Okay, so robotic at ENSTA, so uh, starts in the first year uh, where we do a sensitization. Uh, we start with a programming class, uh, with a robotics project, and we also have artificial intelligence class. In the second year, where the, the students start to define their passes, so we have two different passes where the robots are present. So they have or the intelligence systems are present, so it's a signal computing and systems pass, and the embedded system and mechatronic pass. And in the third year, as I showed you earlier, in the, that we have the track on robotics and embedded system. So you, you can see that at each year, from the three years of engineers so we showed to the students um, projects with robots and we tried to um, make them love robots. So for the first year, we have a programming class, as I said, so it's a MATLAB course, and we have uh, this kind of projects like SLAM and Kalman uh, filtering with different kind of uh, robots. Um, for the third year, we have uh, in the robotics and embedded system track, we can, so the students can uh, choose between two, two passes, one that where they see, so the upper one, say 14, V6, V10, and V2, where they see the system view from hardware to software, and the other one, uh, which is information multimedia, uh, embedded software, autonomous robots, image, and uh, which is more interactive robotics and perception. So the students have the choice to, to choose between these passes, and they have a much more large view of uh, the different systems that they would like to develop later on. So for example, uh, this is not with now, but we still have, we have 10, 10 Aigo in the lab, uh, and we still use them for the first, um, with architecture, vision, and uh, robotics. So here it's like, they are quite stable, let's say, and students love to, to use them. So, uh, this is a project that they have to develop, so it's following and take constant distance between the robots. Hopefully, it's 
going to work. So they have to track, uh, detect the, the cuts of the water, which is like following color columns. So I, I don't think I have to explain the, the image or the, the loop because it's quite straightforward. And so we have another uh, module which is mobile robotics and um, so here the, the students are uh, learning about particle filtering, Hallmark filtering and SNAM and so the professor is Professor David Fiau who is also the, the director of the, of the lab and uh, last but not the least it's a social robotics and human robot interaction. So there are two professors, myself and the Professor Manuel Lopez from INMIA Bordeaux. Uh, and my, uh, we have a PhD student who is a teaching assistant. So the main idea, it, it's a very short course, it's a 20 hours lecture, and uh, after that we have four hours exam. So the goal of this is to engage student, students in meaningful learning, provide a fun, creative, and uh, hands-on uh, learning experience, and challenge students to solve uh, real-world problems using robotics. Why I'm saying that? So this is the courses, uh, the syllabus of the course. Uh, so you, you can see that you have everything. So you have the introduction on human robot interaction. You have learning. Um, you have artificial development, exploration, robots in education, different examples, therapy and rehabilitation, and also learning from demonstration. So it's quite a large kind of uh, broad of uh, what we are teaching to the to the students. So this year it's a first, so we develop a final project with now robot. So the aim of the project was to develop a gesture training system based on rewards by using reinforcement learning. And so the students, we have only two now robots and we had, we, we were lucky because we had very uh, small groups. So we have uh, two groups of three students. So that was good. Um, so this is uh, one of the students. So uh, the, the, the algorithm was implemented in MATLAB. MATLAB communicates with now through a server client architecture. And so in the learning phase, uh, MATLAB sends orders to the now and waits for feedback. And the feedback, and so the reward of uh, punishment is done through the functions of the uh, function in the, in the lab. I'm going to show you a short video here. They, they have done also graphical this is what the students have done so in uh, two weeks. So that's so the, the graphical interface and shows where the robot and uh, if it's correct or not, whether should robots should move the, the arms upper left, uh, upper up. So I use these images also to show that we really use the both of the robots, so the blue one and the red one, so we have exactly what I told you earlier. Okay, so um, I, know I was fast. Uh, this is my last slide. So this year the students love to play and program the now robot. It was a very short period of time, so two weeks they were really like fast. Uh, uh, we plan for the next year to build a more complex collaborative project. So we have uh, now uh, I create from iRobot and we have a mini drone. And we try to create a collaborative kind of a project. Uh, we are still thinking on how, what the scenario will be so that we can, so that the students, we, we will give the students this year uh, five weeks of the, the time of the entire course to uh, produce the, the code and come up with ideas. Okay, so thank you a lot. And if you have any questions, um, yeah.